Hello everyone, welcome to the 5th Autumn 2025 update from Gavsworthy. So here we go, okay, I'm going to bring you more updates for Autumn, up to update number 5, it's our solar special, and uh, I'll get on with it for you in a moment. Just say that first, a bit of sales, our 6 a.m. UK bull forecast, and uh, there's a 10 to 14 day on the way later on today as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. So much for doing that for Gaz Weather Viz. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much to Richard Ricardo. So to Richard Trump for our autumn updates gear. And thank you so much to Terry Scully for getting all of our years together uh, for us. So let's have a look. We're going to begin at solarham.net just to confirm that we have got further sunspot regions today regions just there regions are just there as well uh however solar activity is at low levels and is expected to remain at low levels for the next three days having said that we are around so the maximum and so the autumns and the years that terry has picked out for us are solar maximum autumns and years so we're starting with 1958 so uh this autumn with high pressure sitting to the north winds coming in from an easterly direction has quite a wet and cool september otherwise the rest of the autumn is relatively mild and anticyclonic then we've got the autumn of 1968 with uh, low pressure heading in from off the atlantic high pressure is up towards greenland and uh, iceland as well and uh, this has a, a very wet spell for southern england in september and a really warm october in uh, 1968 as well 1969 also has a warm october but is uh, much drier and more anticyclonic with high pressure from the atlantic into West Europe, low pressure is up here, along with the jet stream. That's a warm and dry autumn. The autumn of 1979 is our next autumn occurring near to solar maximum. With low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds coming in from a westerly uh, direction, so that's a rather... Atlantic-driven autumn. And then we've got the autumn of 1980. We have a trough of low to the north, high pressure out to the west, and winds coming in from a west, from a northwesterly direction. Has uh, a warm and dry September. Turns much more unsettled, cooler, and a lot wetter in October. And then has quite a cold November, especially early on in month. It's even a white November, not only from frost, but also from snow in the parts of the country in 1918. 1989 is our next autumn occurring near Soda Maximum with high pressure through the west of Europe. That brings a lot of dry and warm weather. Very extended summer in 1989. It starts in the spring. It goes on into September and October as well. Overall, a dry and warm autumn. 1990 is more unsettled with higher pressure out to uh, the west. Lower pressure is to our east. We tend to be in from an east or a northeasterly direction. So um, that autumn has a mixed September, quite a warm October. I mean, rather colder in November uh, with some cold snaps coming and going. 2001 is our next autumn occurring near solar maximum with high pressure pulled out to the west of the UK and Ireland, low pressure away to the northeast. Winds coming in from the northwest direction. So it has a really warm October. I think October 2001 is still the uh, warmest within the CET index. September is rather cool and a bit mixed, and uh, then November has a bit of everything. There were a couple of cold snaps in November of 2001. I mean, 2002 takes up the high pressure up to the north with plenty of low pressure to the south. And so that has a dry and warm September, turns very wet in October. And uh, November is also very wet, but also uh, mild. And then finally, we've got 2014 as our, our final solar maximum. Autumn with high pressure away to the east, low pressure is out to the west, and that brings up wind from a southerly uh, direction. So that's a very warm autumn and has quite a lot of dry weather, especially early on. 
Right, let's put all of that together then. This is how all September's combined are looking around solar maximum. Uh, and we see high pressure, actually, anticyclonic signal for the uh, September. There's high pressure more or less over the top of the country, so a warm and dry signal for September. October also looking rather anticyclonic with higher pressure uh, through the west of Europe. Lower pressure is out to the west. That's a relatively dry Warm signal for October. Uh, November anti side great, but high pressure goes a bit further north. Would be centering around ice and winds tending to be in more from an easterly direction. So a bit of cold potential maybe in uh, the November. But I think the key takeaway is that these solar maps from autumns do tend to favour anti-cyclonic signals. So maybe the dry spell that we've had through the uh, spring and into the summer will carry on into the autumn as, as well. Of course, that's speculative. And then finally, all autumns combined uh, for our solar matches around solar maximum, showing high pressure through Ireland and the UK. And it brings a lot of dry, fine and warm weather with it too. So there we go. We're done. <laughs> a nice quick update today. Thank you so much to uh, Terry for uh, supplying uh, the years for us there. Thank you so much to Richard Shaw for uh, our lovely autumn updates gift. And thank you so much, of course, to Shrine Bruins. Have a week off uh, this week. Hashtag Team Gab. Did an amazing job. Thank you so much, guys. Right, again, okay, we'll end it there. We're going to be back shortly. We attend a 14 day. Come back for that in a bit for the fifth autumn 2025 update from Gaz Worthy. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.